Hey everyone, a real quick aside for a moment before I continue the actual Let's Play. There have been some things that I've forgotten here. First of all, I went right for this girl's crayon before talking to her. You get something a little different. Hello. You see them. You do, right? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they are there. Do you know what they are? Yeah, I guess. Well, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about these shadows. A crayon! A crayon! I want to find a crayon! I draw all the time. Uh, what are you drawing? Something. Well, what is it? My dreams. Go now. Yeah, a little freaky. You get to that creepy subject and she just drops it. And by the way, I've also clicked, I want my cat back. And she just responds, why don't you draw her cat? And you're like, this isn't working. <laughs> so that's just a little disturbing right there. She knows what's up. By the way, we've already um, heard this part, the going for the green crayon. There's something I had, I think, mistakenly assumed about this girl before. I thought she cut herself, but on one hand, she's in a mental hospital. How? And on another, she says, they tie me up. And when I can't draw, I hurt myself. She does say I hurt myself, but I don't know. It could be cutting, but when she says they tie me up, I'm wondering if that's rope burn. But it, yeah, I don't know. It might be cutting after all. Regarding that... Regarding that, I forgot to check her chart. Uh, YouTube user Raven Firewitch reminded me to be of this one, so let's take a look at what her problem is. Adelaida Fugens. The patient was a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. This event has created auditory hallucinations and thought disorder. Treatment? Dr. Dearn has become close to the patient through drawing therapy. She's making progress. Wow. A seven-year-old is a victim of sexual abuse, at most at seven years old. That's freaking messed up. And uh, Raven Firewitch did remind me of one more thing. You recall the photo. Aww. It turns out you can actually look at the photo when you are on the pills. Let's take a look. Ugh. So Grace and Fran are missing their eyes. Why, I can't tell, but the people who are actually dead are missing most of their heads. Unsettling. Also, now I'm seeing those hand marks on her and that's really, really messed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those pills off. Same goes with that rocking chair moving back and forth. That's a little... Let's move on to the next thing. Here's a little scare that we missed at first. Gross. Let's take a look at the TV. Freaky. But that's enough TV, it's bad for you. See, the kid's head's back now that I broke off of it and the pills never mind I only have one more thing to show you okay here's the last thing I wanted to show you I had tried and failed to drug the guard before and we eventually had to spill hot coffee on him you know why because I didn't give the correct dialogue options oh I guess I gotta talk to him first I'm asking for the key He gets creepy, I say no, I'll kill you if you touch me, and just stops the conversation. Now I'm gonna make up with him. I brought this cake for you. I don't want trouble, so I brought it for you. Not interested. Now instead of saying make your life sweeter, because you'll recall he said, I don't care my life's sweet, we'll say, well, you'll regret it, it's very yummy. And he says, all right, leave it on the table. I'll eat it later. Now if I say it's very yummy again, he'll say, I know, I don't want it now. But, if we say fresh from the oven, 
directly from the oven, he says, all right, let's taste the bun. Eats it. And he's out. Sleeps like a little princess. Mr. Guardy is sleeping, hello. Eek, he's drooling like a little baby. And then, well, I don't have the parts for the grab -o but we can grab the key. Pretty sweet, huh? Okay, now back to the main installment. Welcome back everyone to the next installment of Fran Bow. We're trying to make our escape relatively unsuccessfully. We're going places, but not out. We need to leave. It's locked. Well, that key we got that was useless for the office might just work here. Hole. Oh. Well, this screen's okay. Oh! If you struggle, you will know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Whoa. Oh, my dear kitty, we'll soon be together again, I promise. I miss you, my dear, I miss you so much. Why are you leaving? Please don't leave me alone, Mr. Midnight. Oh no. At the end of the maze, friend. There's a little hint. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. The monster won't let me go home, but if I find the maze, maybe I could find Mr. Midnight. So here's a question, how long are we out? Because no one came to check on us. Let's hope that it was brief. Ah, so that's where that was. No, we're in a completely new area. Jeez. My path to life has been denied. I haven't been born, but I was alive. I'm waiting for a mother to love me. That is really unsettling. You can't blame those who are ignorant, but you can't let ignorance decide. Life will teach you even through pain and tears. That is goddamn unsettling. Robert Clark, Psychosurgery Procedure Lobotomy. Roman Bates. Observation, failed anesthetic. The patient woke up after reaching frontal lobe. The procedure was canceled and incompleted. Oh. To be fair, that's not necessarily as bad as it sounds. It's terrifying, yes, but your brain does not have pain receptors. Your head might hurt like a freaking mother, but you can actually be awake during brain surgery. Yes, you can. You probably wouldn't want to, but you, I think, can deal with it. The operating room. I don't want to go inside. I have... It smells like rotten flesh. Ugh. I don't want them to play with my head in there. Well. <laughs> Who is that? Sir, wake up. Ugh. So, we came from there. We're not going in the operating room. It leaves us with two doors, an almost certainly locked one. Oh, did I go all the way around? Okay, so we're on the opposite side. Two doors that may or may not work. What? Oh no. Ugh. Wanna tell me why they have black eyes, please? Poor girls, I hope they get well soon. Hope we never end up like this. I won't ever leave the sick place. Here's where it gets even more disturbing, I'm sure. IT Ward? Or it word, or I don't draw T I. Oh, ah, right, the pills. I forgot. God, ugh. Ugh. Hello, are you resting? Did you puke? That's disgusting. Hope you get well soon. Nope. Boy, why do you have your brain out? Is it too warm in there? Hmm, won't answer. I guess the mice will come and have some meat. 
gross. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Yes, I took the new one upstairs. Baby shaken syndrome. Ugh. Fran Bo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to have the key there. Calm down. The key is not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it, alright? Bye. Let's not attract her attention, huh? My goodness, I can't believe this. I'm on the reception already, this is grand. But the nurse, I have to get rid of her. Do I drug her? What should I do? You know, I never did look at this, the code. Turn off the alarm. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes. Alarm code, December 17th equals July 25th equals. Eh. Miss Nurse, I hope you want to go to the toilet soon. Well, there's a double hint, right? I guess we're drugging her instead of the jan- the, not the janitor, the, the, the guard guy. Because you had to drug him in the demo. This is a clever little change here. Not sure what to do with this. Eh. Arg, won't work. Can't believe this. Another reception already. The note I have says something about this. But I can't go over there. What do I do? 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 Eh. Do I give her the key? Like, do I sneak it somewhere? Nothing. Of course. What was I thinking? What do I do? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't use the pills. Can I just walk over there where the nurse isn't here? Oh, you were all skinny. Yeah. Ew. Are you okay, little baby? Is that your mommy hanging up there? Do you miss her? Can I put that back? Let's let's do this. Damn it. At the end of the maze. I can't remember Aunt Grace's phone number. Well, I can remember this. The key holder has no keys to hold. If only the key holder could talk. There you go. Hope the nurse sees the key. Oh, the key was here after all. I better take it back. Good. Ugh. I'll just surprise her when I get home. Many folders and books. So turn off the alarm. There's a code. Four digits password. Ah, uh, whoops. December 17th, July 25th. What? I don't know, what do you want? 1217? Uh, July. Well, it's 7, I can't do 0, 7. You know what? Oh, wow. We're just on the other side. It's crazy. Can't open it. And I can't go all the way back around, so everything I need must be here. December 17th equals what? And what does July 25th equal? What in the world? Ah. Uh, 17th, 25th? Ah. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here that I can use anymore. Oh, the patient, I think that's our number, is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered gland. Ectoplomatin dose up to 1700 MCG. Change the containers, it looks like an approved variant of duotene. So they're just continuing to give us the same drug? That's, wow, so the doctor is against us. When he said never again, he was playing. Like, he's still just messing with us. That's messed up. What child? Who wrote this? 
wonder what this means. I really won't miss this hospital a bit. Creepy. Okay, looks like we got it. This, this was hard. I actually had to look this one up, to be perfectly honest. December 17th. July 25th. What is December? 12. 12 plus 17 is 29. 7 plus 25 is 32. Yeah, gotta admit, couldn't figure that one out. Yes, on the best, the very best. We're out. Ha ha. I'd better go. Now. Oh, you little bitch, I'll make you pay for what you did. Nope. Uh, what? What? Oh. You clever little girl, do you think you can just leave? What? It can't be. No. What, Midnight? Who are you? I need to get to the maze. Why was the creature afraid of that? What happened? Oh, the tower. I've never seen this fence before. I have to find the maze. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh my, am I playing? Wow. Let's play a game of find the cat, huh? This could be a problem. There? This is so goofy. Are we done? Oh, okay. This is ridiculous. I want my cat back. I want the cat back. I love her little strut though. Huh? Well, I hear the cat has gotta mean something, right? Are you anything? Nope, I'll just hide here for a second. Guys, it's freaky. This game got weird, man. Well, that didn't work. I love how there's like the little thing over here, like potentially I could skip this, I guess. I wonder if I should just run into the creepy ghost thing and uh, start over and be more quick on the uptake with the cat. Guards me, I'm going the right way. Yeah. I did it. At the end of the maze, you will find the evil critters of the night. Ugh. They will hunt you, they will laugh. But there will all be always a good side. A cat full of nuts and bolts will always be your guide. Oh no, my photo! Yeah, I'm not going back for that. I still have the drugged bun though. What's that all about? 
I, I really think I probably could have drugged the guard if I'd gone differently. Chapter 2, Part 1. Curiosity Symptoms. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. I still have my pills. Haha, -ha, I remember something funny. A very old uncle tried to blow on one of these. He farted all his gases out because it was so hard to blow. So dumb. It can be good to have a cozy place to stay. If I'm very tired, I can use it. Guess I'm not sleeping until I find my kitten. Dear, your arm is gone. Good that you're not bleeding. I'm kind of tired of all the red milk coming out of everyone. Who dares to leave an innocent teddy bear without shelter, I wonder? I know a story about a girl with red shoes, and she had a dog. I like animals, all of them. Dogs are animals. Anyway, just a shoe, really. I should leave it right there. Yikes. Hello, tree. Wow. Woo. It's a very rare leaves. Look a bit sad and old. Maybe they aren't leaves. They're too white. Oh. Curiosity is damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like to be curious. Otherwise, how you learn things. Anyway, why won't you allow me to take the key? What are you? What is the right question, but why should be more appropriate? Well, I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours, and it's not yours for sure. Oh, please, just give it to me. I want to know what door can be opened with this. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. Well, you're very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Friend. Pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. Well, I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Yes, really. Now please, give me the key. Look, person, Fran, we come from the south, flying as always. Alright. And one of us got curious about this key, and all of us got stuck here. And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. Well, so you're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Okay, give me the comb and I can fix you. There was a problem. I thought the thief took the comb. Now we're stuck forever. If you find the thief in the comb, you will have the key. Deal? Sure, what does it look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to be beautiful. We couldn't do much, so we ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll try my best. We will be here, waiting. Yeesh. Bleah, not with the pills. Wow, this is a really big insect. Or is it a pig? That's very odd. Wow, you really are a very big ant. Who's there? Excuse me, sir. Are you real? Ah, you always ask the same thing. Always. Always? What do you mean by always? Of course I'm real. Where'd you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry, but what you were doing here? Real bad things happened to me, sir. But now I'm looking for my cat. A cat, you say? Yes, sir, a black cat with very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. So you haven't seen it? It happens to be that the cat is eaten, chewed and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came toward me in a hurry. I catch it. I give it to my beetle pig. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't had food in days. The blueberry time has passed by, and we ate them all. Stop it. Can't you see, Mr. Menace, the only one I have? Tell me that you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. Well, what will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do know, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes. Well, how could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Should I do something, like make the beetle pig vomit? 
kill the beetle pig. He's also the only friend I have left, but I need the meat. Well, kill your beetle pig friend? I I can do it, yes. Do it. You can kill the beetle pig, and I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. Dark. I'll use my crayon to kill the beetle pig. Did you eat my cat? Mr. Midnight, just wait, don't die. Just nothing. That's actually pretty creepy by itself, even with a specter. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> what kind of bird are you? You look like an owl, is that it? Your feathers are beautiful. Time to ask that beetle pig a question. The terrible axe. Look at the warrior and savior of things. Huh. Make an entry. Oh well, I could try to open it and see what's inside. Or I could murder myself a beetle pig. Goodbye. Wake up! The pig won't stay still. It seems that shouting and pushing it won't help. Maybe I have to try something a little more subtle. I was here. You pig, did you eat my cat? A feather. Tickle, tickle. I'll keep it. I like it. Can't be done. Well, well, well. What a bluff. There's no hole in here. What? My force is trying to do something unnecessary. Must be a meaning. Otherwise, it wouldn't be here. Huh. It's absurd, but I'll use whatever I can. Feather doesn't work. Crayon, I don't see working. Feather with the crayon. Feather with the axe. Negative. Axe with crayon. Axe on the well again. Rats. Oh, wait a second. I got your comb right here. Things not working makes me angry. Can't even deal with the hair. Curses. No, no, no. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the thread is great. Great. Sir, wake up now. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. I see. That's completely normal, isn't it? Well, what should I do, then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries. Mmm. Well, I see, but where do I find these berries? I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. That's bad. Firm, bip bip. Look, Fran, I'm in danger. Find me alive, find me dead. Bip bip. Find me someday in a golden cage. Fur. This forest is freaky. Of course, for now. I'm going to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We completed the first chapter. We actually escaped the asylum. The giant creature came for us, but it seems that he was repelled by something. Was he afraid of Mr. Midnight? Or could it have been something else and then Mr. Midnight came out? Either way, it's a good thing that happened because we were about to die. Now we have a whole other set of problems. Outside. We need to save Mr. Midnight. He may have been eaten. We may need to kill the bug that ate him. This is getting weird. Until next time, everyone.